Okay, so in the last session we were discussing about the table and we have seen that how to bring up like uh, the properties in table and we have seen like how to bring the images so remember like uh, the images are all that you can get in the other option and uh, today we will see another visualization called cross table so here we have the cross table. So cross table is nothing but a kind of pivot table which you might have seen a lot of times like in Excel. It's a kind of pivot table which helps us to see the data and the summary, the summary of the data. Actually, so what you have, like you have 9436 records. It might be 1 million, it might be 10 million. So remember like uh, it will show you the summary of the data. So whatever selections we're making here, like uh, from that it will show you the summary only so it's a summarized form of the big data set here you see this is adi 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 just give me a minute adi just to give me a minute i'll 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 yeah sure, sure. Uh, sorry adi <laughs> my kid was shouting for that no. yeah go ahead Kadi. so here you have this is your working Alexis this called like what you see here order priority this is your cell value and this is your horizontal okay. axis okay uh Okay, Adi, how, how did we get this cross table? Uh, I think like uh, just click on this like uh, aggregation icon over here. The second, this okay, one. okay, or just go to insert, say visualization, okay, say cross table. Control 2 is the short key of that, okay, okay. Normally, okay. like always, you should use this insert visualization, or you can always mm -hmm. make also use like this thing icon bar also okay so okay. here first visualization is table then cross table the graphical table bar chart waterfall line chart combination pie scattered all like this okay 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 okay, okay. so this is your horizontal axis you have to more you can modify this all the time whenever you want <laughs> You can modify this. I just to do. Okay, I'm in the properties. Same way. Right now, you know this. Right click properties or just click on the gear icon here. So you will be in the property. In general, we have already discussed in the table what this will give us: the title of the visualization okay. and the descriptions and all data. It will be the same stuff, so I'm not repeating the okay. same thing again. So it will be data table okay. marking, marking <coughs> and limited using filtering, limited using expression. Okay, appearance like under this, like there will be few differences here mm -hmm. that I'll come back in some time. Call of the totals again, formatting again. As I told you, formatting you can do that. Font access. First yeah. of all, let's see the access yeah. here in cross table. Access means like how and what we have to show on the cross table. Okay. Okay. So let's say access. This is my horizontal, vertical, and cell values. First thing, what I want to show it here. Let's say I want to bring up the regional summary of my data. Okay. So I'll just change it to region here. I can do directly from here itself, like this. Okay. But both options you have the way you like. So okay. what I have taken on my vertical axis, I have taken region as a value here. Okay, and okay. instead of discount, I want to take the sales. Okay, now what okay. I am getting. First of all, let me remove this horizontal one. Let me remove this, then I'll break it. That back. So right now, what I am getting here, if you see in the table. I'm just getting the summary of my data set completely for region and sales. I might have 10,000 or it might be 10 million. Okay. 
So here you see central. How much is the sales? 2.54 million dollars. East 2.42 okay. million dollars. South 1.59 million dollars. West 2.39 million dollars. So this way you are just getting a summary. Now your user says, okay, this is fine, but can you show me the sales for a uh, let's say period of time or per year? or let's say for like category kind of stuff okay yes we can do that so what i'll do on the horizontal axis i'll just use any of the column what i according to what i want let's say ship mode i have taken ship mode here okay on horizontal okay. Okay. Ship mode. so now what i'm getting i'm still getting the regional sales but by ship mode Okay. Central region was giving me 2.54 million dollars only sales. But now this 2.54 million dollars sales is divided into three different categories. Categories means ship mode. Oh. One is delivery truck, express air, regular air. So central region delivery truck means the shipment which were done by road transportation. It is 90, uh, 974 thousand dollars. Express air is $196,000. The regular air is $1.36 million. So overall, it is $2.54 million. Getting this? Okay. 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 Now you say, okay, this is fine. Like Likewise for other regions also. Now this is fine. But I want to have region and products also. In this cross table, I want to have region and products also so that I can see that for which reason which product and how much is the sales for that okay, okay. I'll add vertical axis I will add product category here you can see that table got expanded okay okay now, okay. now this table is showing you for every region is three categories here it's not coming on the top. Okay. It's coming here. Okay. So okay. every region is two categories, and it says for each ship mode. Okay. Okay. So central region furniture is six fifty five thousand dollars. Express air is just twenty one thousand dollars. Regular is one eighty two thousand dollars. Like this, you will see the detailed information coming up in your cross table cross table is nothing but summary table now let's say he is oh. fine my user is okay like let this is fine but can you include the sub products also this is product category main category let's say i want to include sub products also sub category so what i'll do i will include inside the vertical axis itself i will add product sub category here you see it got again extended okay so here if you see that how much is the sales happening this all is my sales now this is just about the sales let's say user says i want to see the sales and profit together so what i'll do i will and the sell values this is sell values under that i will add profit also so say profit and what you want to show sum of profit means total profit you want to take average you want to take min max all these are the aggregations available Okay, remember without aggregation okay. you can't show anything here without aggregation nothing will work let's suppose if I remove the aggregation here then you will get an error please specify the aggregation method so remember without aggregation nothing will work aggregation means okay. you have to use min max sum average like that okay Okay. Now what I'm getting, I'm getting sales and profit together. For every region, every product, every category, what is the sales and how much is the profit? Let's suppose, let me remove this product subcategory just to have a clear view in a single screen. Let's suppose like this. Okay. Okay. So this is how like my sales are moving. So sales and profit. You have central. You have products sales and profit you can easily identify here the user easily identify that how much is the sales for a product and how much is the profit for a same thing here if you see for central okay. region furniture category the products which were shipped through a delivery truck the sales was six fifty five thousand dollars 
and profit is just 7,000. So there is a big gap here, isn't it? So this, yes. if you see here, yes. $65,000 and the profit is just $7,000. So there is a big gap here. And express here, $21,000 is a sales, almost 6,000 is a profit. So it's almost good, more than 50%. Okay, sorry, 25%. So regular year, it is one eighty-two thousand dollars, and profit is forty-two thousand dollars. Again, it is quite good. Okay, so this way, like my user, we keep seeing the things. But let's suppose, okay, this is fine. <clears throat> so I'll go to add colors. Yesterday, what we saw the coloring and all. So in this letter, yes, yes. <clears throat> I will add profit. So remember. In yesterday table, when we were adding the colors for any of the columns in the ad, we were getting all the columns. Okay? But here, the columns will be showing only for the, those values which are there in the cell values. Okay, sales and profit. So, I will add profit here, let's say. Again, you know what you need to do? So create a rule. I'll say less than zero so that I can easily see the uh, losses say okay you can say okay let's see so here if you see that like uh, uh, losses are given in red color so there are only two instances where uh, my business is going into losses as per this requirement also so when I'm just taking up to furniture only but if I take the product subcategory also then it might go higher also so in that case like you can see there are many senses where I'm going to losses but when I'm including product cash okay. subcategory so this is a kind of analysis which as a user you would like to see if you are running a business that where which products in which category you are running into losses Okay, so okay. this overall is called as like uh, cross table. So cross table, as you can see, it is nothing but it is giving you the summary of the data. Okay? okay. Now, this information is ready. As of now, I can just um, send it to my user. Okay, this is fine. Let's say I'll just save this dashboard and I can share it with the user. But make sure this is just a tip. Like uh, make sure whenever you are publishing reports and dashboards you hide these aggregations here you can see some of sales some of profit okay. user will not like this that user will definitely come back to you and will ask you okay remove this thing give some display name okay you, this is fine that you have given some logic here but uh, hide this logic just give some display name so what you have to do just right click anywhere on this you will see the right click okay. custom expression option it's applicable to each and every visualization okay okay means it will not work automatically for every visualization i mean to say you should do this thing for each and every visualization so say custom expression okay, okay. and uh, some okay. of says say as you have to give some alias names display names what do you call it alias names so okay then bring the brackets say total profit total sales like this okay. again okay. for profit say as profit. Okay. so this way what you have given you have given the display instead of showing it as some sales it will show now as total sales and so on here you see this okay this is the profit. Only thing coloring will go off. Okay. You have to do it again. So make sure that you do this stuff like before oh. adding it. So just losses. It will come up here. Okay, like this. 
so now you have good name so this it should be a kind of like a recommended thing like always do this okay there is no problem only thing is like this is just uh, now like we were discussing it is just some of this in coming sessions like we will be doing a lot of big calculations so it will not be a good idea that where you are showing the formula and all to the user so it's a user okay. will, will not understand what you are doing here what is that okay okay and coming back to properties appearance so under appearance is nothing but like you have show cell borders if you uncheck this thing then borders will not be shown allow data table export in web client the same thing right now in the table visualization also so if this is checked then only your users can right click and export the data if you don't want your users to export the data uncheck this option grant total for columns you will get a grand total for columns so total it is for sales it is 37 3.70 million dollars profit is 268000 dollars so to say so for every category here every delivery truck every express air and under total sales to total profit you will get the grand total so this is grand total for columns if you want to see the grand total for rows then also you will get the same term Here you see grand total for rows is coming. So this is for grand total for sales. This is grand total for profit. Okay. Okay. And there is one more thing like uh, if you see like yeah, and this is a new feature which was introduced in seven point seven only. So most of the times whenever you will be creating cross table, you will come across these dashes. Okay. So dashes means okay. whenever you see the dashes, it means the data is not available for that particular category. Okay. Okay. So let's say in the in our case, binder accessories, envelopes, labels, paper, pens, rubber, scissors. Okay, these items of sub products were not shipped through uh, delivery truck option means road transportation. That's the reason it is dash dash. But your users okay. will come to you and will say that okay, but it's fine. But I don't want to see it as dash dash. Can you remove it to zero, something like zero, or like uh, put some um, some like text here? Okay, up to seven dot six, you can't do this stuff. You have to live with dash dash. Okay. Okay. But from seven dot okay. seven, they have given you a very important option. Where you can just modify this thing. So as of now, this is coming as dashed. You can keep this as blank, so user can understand that there is no data for this. Dash creates a confusion. What is dash? Okay. So okay. empty means there is no data available for this. So what I have given display cells with no data as blank. Custom text means where you can write something. So not NA. So just give say NA. It means not available. So this okay. products were not shipped through delivery truck, so that's the reason it just information is not available. Or whatever you want to write, it's all up to you. Okay. So this okay. is a very important feature which they have given now. Use okay. certain number of marked items. If you are marking something, then only here you see I'm marking. So this is remember you can't so like you can you can't select the null values. Here you see. Here okay. You, I can okay. try to select the null values. Not. It's not working. But I can select any other values like this. So remember this. Okay. So this is marking. If you are selecting this, checking this, then only you will see the marking color. If I uncheck this, marking will still happen. Here you see, marking is still happening. This one okay. is getting But highlighted, is highlighted, and the remaining are not highlighted. So marking is still happening. Only color will not be shown. Okay, this is your appearance purpose. This is next thing is column for totals. We have in the earlier option we saw grand totals. Now this is column for totals. Remember, like whatever columns you have on your vertical axis, this is your vertical axis. So here I have okay. one, two, and three. So three minus one will be two. So you will see only two. Columns here, it's n minus one actually. So n n is like any number of columns, whatever you have, minus one, region per category. So here if you see, 
I can get the subtotals only for up to category level. Products of category. Okay. If I include any other column here, let's suppose product uh, customer segment, then I will get product subcategory also. Okay. Because now I have four columns, four minus one, and third up to third I have product subcategory. So this is just a way of getting the subtotals for this. So let's say if I want to see the subtotal right now, you are getting a grand total of all at the end of the screen. Okay, at the end of this like table. But my user says, okay, this is fine. But I want to see the grand total for every region here. Every region, I should get a grand total. Okay. So okay. like this, check this option, and here you will see subtotal will be shown. Nine seventy-four thousand dollars. Okay, this is for okay. regional. Okay. I want to see for product category also. So just say product category, and you will get sub product subtotal for product category also six fifty-five thousand dollars. Okay. But at the end, at the end you will see grand total for complete thing. So it's a, just a way if user wants to see this kind of stuff. Okay, it can be okay. before values or after values. That's your choice. Okay. Okay. So this is subtotals. Formatting, like as you know, like my users come from US, so means like mostly whatever they want to see. If they want to see in USD, if they want to see in pounds, they want to see in francs, dollar, anything like that, franc. So it's all up to your requirements. So here you can choose any of the currencies available. Indian rupees, everything okay. is available here. Okay. Oh. So currency, I will use short format. Okay, same thing for profit. Or you can just select both. Like this. Use control. And select one time itself. Okay, now. Currency. Like this. Here you see. Everything is converted into dollars now. Okay, I short oh. always. Okay, so this way, like you can just change the formatting and fonts. Fonts, as I told you, that like uh, this will be by default here, whatever is showing. Otherwise, you can modify it if you use those fonts. So, regional is there. So, headers are there. So, cross table headers. So, you want to make it bigger, bold. <coughs> So this way, like your headers will be bold, or uh, font size and all that you can do. Change it. You see, the headers are changed to bold and bigger size. And eight, like this. Axis. Horizontal vertical cell values so you can add a number of columns here So you can keep adding so right now. This is total sales and profit you want to include the shipping cost also So just say include shipping cost. So now you will be having total truck for every ship mode delivery truck What is the sales? What is the profit and what is the shipping cost? Okay, so three thousand fifty two dollars for the shipping cost for book cases which were shipped through delivery truck Okay, and uh, oh. these products were not shipped through Express Air, so there is N here. Okay, and like this, and so on. So for regular Air, two fifty nine thousand dollars, thirty one dollars, thirty one thousand only, thirty one only. It's not thousand. I guess it's thousand. Yeah, it's not even thousand. It's just normal. Two fifty nine dollars. This is $31 and this is $14 shipping cost for regular area. Okay? Okay. And okay. If it is thousand, then obviously K will come. Okay. Okay, so this way like uh, we can see all the details. Now again, for this thing like we have changed total sales, profit, shipping cost. Again, I have to modify it. Let's say shipping cost, display name. So I can just change it to total. Cost like this, I can change it so now it will be showing as total shipping cost. Okay, so I can say okay, this way. 
so just click on this small icon and select the column and display name here you can display name or you can just right click here take custom expression here also you can do as okay, alias name so this is just for information so this is custom expression uh, i told you that like when we were working on the limit details expression if get familiar with this view it will come with different different names so that time it okay. came with limit data using expression here you see it is coming with custom expression is it it the difference it will also come with in calculated column so it will come with different different names but the complete view is same here you have the columns here you have the properties and here you have all the functions all the functions available in spot by remember as i showed you earlier also i believe uh, in the first session yes, yes. that like when the data is in memory in memory means when the data is loaded completely into spotify memory then you will see a to z features of spotify means functions of spotify every function but if you are loading data using in database connections means direct connection to databases in that case only those functions will be shown which are supported by your database Okay, let's say okay. Oracle, SQL Server, Terra Data, whatever. Only those functions will be shown which are supported by your database. There, there are many functions like say over functions, winning functions, which are used here, which can be used here in Spotify right now for Excel or any data which is completely loaded into memory of Spotify. But if you have SQL database direct connection in database connection, in that case these functions will not work. because these are not supported by your database your uh, sql server or oracle so these things will come up okay, okay. <coughs> colors as i showed you like uh, you can keep adding multiple colors multiple rules accordingly according to your requirement you can change it to something else so that you can distinguish so this is your sales this is your profit profit again you can change instead of blue you can show something else it's your wish So you can show it grayish or whatever. You can create multiple rules. So anything say is greater than fifty thousand or anything like that. Profit, let's say. Okay, just put some name here and add this. So this will. So any sales which are greater than or let's say profit which are greater than fifty thousand, you will see it in orange color. So here, if you see, you are getting few instances where your profit is going above like fifty thousand. So here we have so it's showing in the orange color. So it's not good. So yeah. So this way, like uh, you can see that like it's going. So I have changed the losses color. So it's going into the negative in this blue color or orange it is more than $50000 so this way you can easily identify the things okay yeah, so this is a way by which you can modify the cross sales sorting again as i told you sorting you can do from here itself okay or you can do from the table itself sort by delivery truck total sales delivery truck total profit delivery truck shipping costs okay so you can sort it okay. by here okay sort rows sort columns legion as i told you legion play a very important role so that users can understand what is this colors or what all you have given so here only you can show this thing okay colors can be modified from the legion itself so you can just click on any of these okay and change the colors and everything okay so just click on this circles and change the colors you want to mark just select let's say only losses Just select this losses. Only that losses will be marked. Okay, the rows will be marked. But to see the greater than fifty thousand, only those because where you have fifty thousand will be marked. So this is called marking from legend. This is called marking from legends. Now, let's come to sorting. We have a very important thing. I'll just remove this. 
So here you see uh, I have central furniture to sales and profit shipping cost. Okay. Now let me just sort this. So what I will do? I will to sort this. So what I'll do? I'll just click on total sales. So what I'm sorting? I'm sorting delivery truck total sales. Okay. So just click on this. Sorting will come. And here you have sort ascending and descending. Ascending and descending. If I just click okay. on sort ascending, here you see it is sorted 70, 249, 655. This is sorted? No. No, no. Ascending, it is sorted. What I'm trying to show, it is sorted ascending oh, 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 okay. from minimum to oh. higher. But 70, oh. 249, 655. Okay. This is sorted for central. Then 75208705. This is sorted for east. 24196435. This is sorted for south. Like this. Okay. So what does this display us? What does it tell us? Tell us that it is sorted here, but it is sorted based on the grouping. Okay. Isn't it? This is sorted on the based of grouping. But your user said, no, I don't want to show like this. I want to sort this complete row or this complete column. As of now, the sorting is happening only on central region, means the main hierarchy. Let's suppose, okay? But what I want, I want to sort these values 72, 738, all these values. So under that, I have another option called sort ascending ignore hierarchy. Okay, this is a hierarchy of what I have here, central, product category, and any other column. This will be the hierarchy. So what I want to do, sort ascending, ignore hierarchy. Just click on this. This is a new feature. So click on that. Here you are. If you see this, there is a difference. Yes. Now this is sorted on complete column, not on the hierarchy. And this you can see is changed completely. Earlier you were getting a grouping, but now grouping is not yes. there. So it's 15, 24, 70, 75, 195, 208 and so on. So this is okay. the sorting which is done without hierarchy. If I do this way, then it will be based on hierarchy. Ascending or descending, whatever you do. Click on that. Descending hierarchy. Descending without hierarchy. Ignoring hierarchy. Okay. So this is quite important thing. It's useful for end users. Okay, oh. then you can do a lot of stuff. Let's say size to fit, column width. Okay, Al alignments are there. So all options are new. Yes, you will see Charis. this. One. Sorry? Yeah, all these options are new and these are available from 7.6, 7, 7. Okay, so if you are using any previous versions, then you will not see these options. Okay. If you want to remove the hierarchy, just click on none. Okay. Here you see this. Now it's done. Next is and we have seen subsets. So subsets is a new property which we have not discussed in the earlier table visualization, which was not there. It starts from cross table here. So subsets is nothing but like it's a way by which you can just group the filters in a different way. So here right now you can see the current filtering is used. Okay. And okay. ship mode, let me just go to ship mode. Yeah, I have here ship mode. Normally what happens, normally what happens if you uncheck delivery truck, then delivery truck will not be shown, isn't it? It's gone from the view. If I remove a regular air, the regular air will go off. Isn't okay. it? Okay. okay. So now only express air is shown and only that is getting visible here in the cross table. This is current filtering. If I say not in current filtering, if I uncheck this and if I say not in current filtering, then what you are seeing? I'm seeing delivery truck again. See, what you are seeing our difference is 
whatever you have unchecked that is getting shown here whatever is checked that is not shown it's okay. opposite isn't it yes yes check this here you are seeing whatever is unchecked that is not shown here whatever is checked that is showing up here in this under this whatever is unchecked that is showing up here whatever is checked that is not so if i uncheck express here here also it means not in current filtering whatever is not shown here only that will be shown here so whatever i start checking that will start going off okay if i check all everything will go off okay so it's a just duplicate like uh, just okay. a reverse of what the normal option if you want to have your user wants to see that okay can you give me an option where i whatever i check only that in, means like i should check whatever i want okay so this way you can just give them an option this is called subsets okay you can create okay. your own okay. subsets you can create new expression new marking building schemes custom expression and which can be used accordingly your requirement you can see filtering scheme here okay add filtering scheme which you have discussed okay. we have marking here okay. so using this marking we have highlighting markings of the subset use the complement of the subset okay and you have custom expression so custom okay. subset current filtering and not in current filtering okay then you have show height items as i showed you told you you can say total sales total profit top 5 top 10 top 20 top 50 bottom 10 between equal so there are different rule types so normally we use top 10 okay. bottom 10 if you want to remove the negative values if you want to show the top 10 values so that you can show all the time so now what you are getting you are getting top 10 sales only so your top 10 sales okay. Okay, your top ten, top five sales. Sorry, it's top five sales. So top five sales: six fifty five, seven zero five, seven thirty eight, six six three, seven five seventy six. So this way you get top five sales. Okay, so this is about the cross table. Any doubts in any of the options? Uh, nothing. Okay, so this way, like you have to work on the cross table, modify it accordingly. You have to write some logic, and remember your Excel values cannot be without aggregation. You have to include aggregation to get your values to get your results. Okay. okay. Without aggregation, you can't use the cell values. Okay. So let me just go. Okay, now I have this thing. This all is product category and all that. Instead of that, let me just, if you want to see the yearly wise and all that kind of stuff, like say you are getting show like sales and all. Now your user says, okay, I want to see the year wise thing. So can you show me the sales happening in each year and all? So just go to order date and select the year. Okay, still it is giving okay. you error. Why it's giving you error? I have selected the column year, but why it is giving you error? Remember, when you are using multiple values on your cell values, multiple columns on your cell values, you getting this cell values. Right now, I have to say okay. profit and shipping cost. So remember, whenever you are using multiple columns on your cell values, then you have to use column names as an option either in vertical axis or in horizontal axis column names is just if i remove this let's say profit shipping cost if i remove this then i don't need okay okay then column names i don't need here you see i'm getting region for the category sales happening for each year Okay. Year, quarter, whatever you want, you can use that. Year, you can have the okay. also, year, quarter, and month. So here you see, year, twenty ten, quarter, and month. 
you can just slide it, back, okay. yeah, slide it back to only year and quarter you can slide it back to only year it's your wish now you have given a user an option to change okay but if i include profit also let's suppose okay so if i include profit here then i will need to add first of all it will be added automatically but let's suppose if it is not added automatically let like as you have removed it then you will get an error so it tells you that with multiple cell value columns multiple means more than one column name has to be selected okay. on the horizontal axis or vertical axis you can select this as here okay. or you can select it as here it's your choice but difference will be there now the way you see the data under this when i have added column names as vertical axis then you will see central product category sales and profit like this sales for 2010 11 12 and 13 okay profit for okay. 10 11 12 13 like this but if i include this remember this is coming as a column like this sales and profit is coming like this yeah vertically they're coming in okay. okay if i include sales and profit here sorry column names here then it will sales and profit will come as row this way for every year okay okay, okay. the way it is coming is changing it was coming earlier as a column now it's coming as a separate column for the row yeah row, row wise kind of stuff okay so the way it is okay. so you have to see that how you want to see or user wants to see both are same no difference the way only you want to show it okay this is okay. a table that was a skinny table tall table okay okay what is that the data table and the table no uh, this is like i'm saying wider table and the earlier if i include okay. column here that is tall and skinny table skinny kind of thing tall okay table. okay okay and this co complete thing is called as cross table okay cross table or pivot table whatever you want to call it okay okay the way you have the pivot in excel same way okay okay this is all the next thing what we have is a graphical table so graphical table is a table and spot for which can get us information lot of information at a glance i'll send you a document okay. pdf like where you will see the definitions of these relations but still if you want to okay. see by yourself then go to the properties of any of the visualization click on help okay. As I told you, this will give you a user document. User, so you should go through that. Yeah. I recommend like you should go through all that so that you can get the uh, theoretical part. So graphical table. What is a graphical table? So this will tell you definitions and everything for each and every visualization. Till now we have discussed cross table. So what yeah. is cross table? So cross table is a two-way table consists of co consisting of columns and rows. It is known as a pivot table or a multi-dimensional table. Its greatest okay. strength is the ability to structure, summarize, and display large amount of data. Okay, so this okay. Is, you can see the information. Table. Yeah. Can, what is table? Table is nothing but the visualization which helps you to see data in your rows and columns. Okay, so this way you can see yeah. each and every visualization its definition. So right okay. now we are on graphical table. So graphical table is a summarizing visualization designed to provide lot of information at a glance. Okay. So here what lot of okay. information we are getting. First thing is columns, then trend. Okay. The trend we call it spark line okay. here. How it's moving. Okay. Change. How much is the change? Total versus target. It's kind of stock market. You might have seen. In the stock market, yes. you have like scripts all the stocks. What is the movement? How it is going on? Whether it's going up, whether it's going down. Okay, so all that stuff, isn't it? Looking something like that. So let's see this. Under this, I'll come general data, appearance, all that stuff will remain same. I'll come back to Excel. Okay. Under Excel, let's say I just want to see for region. That same thing what we did for cross table. Say region. Okay. <laughs> I am seeing region. I can't add the cell values like that, sales, profit like that in this. 
I can add region here, state, city, product category, subcategory. That's what I added in cross table. It's kind of vertical axis. <clears throat> so rows, we call yes. it rows here. So here you see vertical axis kind of stuff. Rows. Yes, yes. Now, under this we have four items: spark line, calculated value, icons, and bullet graph. So spark lines are nothing but like which I have already added here. So which is already added. So I'll use some more duplicate one. <coughs> spark lines okay. that you have to say settings earlier you were in the graphical table properties now you are in the okay. spark line properties so it's spark a line. property okay so general thread or you can just give the name here whatever you want to give okay thread data appearance okay formatting and access under access i will take year period time period will be ordered date okay and this is your discount i will take it as sales let's say okay. this is how much sales are moving so this is like very looking very cumbersome so what i'll do i'll take okay. order date year quarter and month okay now it's looking good say close or let's say go to appearance say start okay. point end point if you want to show okay or you can have the line width line color you can choose whatever you like okay now this is done close okay. it okay go to appearance of the uh, appearance now i am into the appearance of graphical table itself i'll say additional row spacing i'll increase the spacing here okay I have increased this much. Okay. I said thirty. Use separate color for marked items so that you can get the marking color. Okay. Okay. Fonts, axis. Now this is what you are getting in this is that how your sales are moving through a period of time. You will not see period. You will okay. not see anything. Okay. But it will just show you a trend, or you cannot mark it anywhere. Means like only full marking will be. You cannot mark that value. That let me see what is the value here, all that. Okay, it won't work. That it is just showing a trend. That how sales are moving. How many up and down spikes were there? So if I show you this thing, then you can easily understand that your sales are not that volatile. Okay. Say okay. um, here you can see for south it's not that volatile it's very low kind of thing okay but here you can see you have big spikes so you have higher spikes. sales numbers here big spikes okay. obviously higher numbers bigger sales okay. okay so this is what we are going to get it from trend lines we call it spark lines next thing. Uh, Adi, one question. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do they specify in the requirement document, like you know, which graph do they want to see? Uh, you will get in both ways. Sometimes they will tell you, <clears throat> I need to say this in this resolution, this chart, this graph. Okay, but sometimes okay. they will not tell you anything. You have to just understand based on your requirement only. Okay, you okay. okay. based on the data they want, yeah. like you know, we have yeah. to analyze, like you know, we chart which to visualization how this can be best depicted in the form with chart. Okay, you show it to them after creating. If they like it, they it's good. If they don't like it, they will tell you, No, it's not the way I want. Like, uh, can we show it in different way? Then try other visualizations. Okay, so this way, okay. It comes. Okay. and just okay. to tell you again. Uh, requirement comes in two ways where business is already using some kind of reports okay some they okay. already have some okay. reports maybe created in excel or okay. some snapshots okay. or some other tool technology now they want to replicate okay. the same thing in spotfire okay? okay since they have chosen spotfire as a new tool new product so they want to replicate their existing reports in spotfire in that case your job is easy bit little bit easy okay. because you don't have okay. to like spend time to understand the logic logic is yeah. already created you have to just copy the logic and put that into spot file maybe slight modifications will be required and chart you know okay. that like uh, i need to create pie chart i need to create bar chart this should be sales yeah, yeah. this access other buy should be this thing 
So this all you you will your task will be little bit easy. Okay, little bit. I'm saying okay. it's not that very easy. Yeah, but okay. you have to replicate the things by seeing. In this case, you are uh, like uh, okay, you have something that what you need to create. The other way around okay. is like uh, where you will just discuss in the meetings, like in a, with the business that what need to be done, how need to be done. Then you will come to a conclusion that we need to see, see this in this line chart whether we need bar chart. That's the second way okay. to discuss the things. So then only you will come to a solution. You do the development, you do create the reports, and then show it to them. If they like it, then it's good. Otherwise, keep creating again and again. So this is what the second way. Okay. Okay. That all depends what environment and what kind of project you have. Okay. 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 So now we go back to the properties of the graphical table. I will add another thing called calculated values. Calculated values are nothing but dynamic values which changes based on the uh, selection. So here, if I just add calculated values, will be sales numbers. So it will be numbers. The way I was having sales okay. uh, cell values in cross table. So I have taken sum of sales and I will take it as sales, whatever total sales or sales, whatever name you want to give. Formatting, let's say currency, two decimal places. Okay, let's say close. Now what you're getting? Let's see it here. Region, the trend. Calculate values 2.54 million dollars, 2.42 million dollars, 1.60, 2.39, like this. This is the second thing. Third thing is icons. Icons is nothing but like you are traveling, you must be driving car or anything like, and you are driving it, okay? You are going through the road, suddenly you get a traffic signal, okay? There you are, like uh, you see the red light, what you do? You stop your car, stop. okay? Green, you start your car. So stop means, red means it's not good. Green means you are good to go ahead. So this is just a way of signal to the users that you can go, you can stop and all that. Same thing you can do it in a reporting structure also. Where you can just tell the user whether your sales are good, your numbers are good, it's doing good kind of stuff, okay? So that thing we do okay. using icons. Okay, I'll just include the sales here because we are seeing the sales. We are seeing the sales here. And uh, click on the shape, star. You can choose the shape. What shape you want, color you want, which color you want, and then add rule. Okay, first of all, close this. Okay. I'll say greater than. Let's say two million dollars. This is two hundred thousand. Like this is two million. This should be in red. Sorry, green. Okay, give some name here. Good profit or doing business, doing good. Okay, whatever. This will be like this. Create another rule. Okay. Let's say less than this is two. Let's say it's less than like uh, two, two million and get this. Okay. Save this. So like this, you can create multiple rules. Multiple rules. Okay. So this is icons. So wherever your sales will go above like two million dollars let's say then you will see like this so your sales are doing good you have a target these are the targets which i have specified these are the targets which i have specified okay okay and if something goes down less than two million dollars and be showing like this so it's a kind of indication to the user that my sales is coming down okay so okay. let's take if I apply the filters, let's suppose I have applied the filters, then you can see that for east also it goes down. So automatically it is changing. The icons are automatically changing the colors as shape. 
okay if i bring the high also here you see all went less than two million dollars so all changed to red color so these are the automatic rules which you have created and based on that your sign or the icon and the color changing you can create okay are the this is for people who doesn't want to see the numbers in the report right this uh, particular chart no 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 it's not that like uh, it it may be like they want to see both the things 2.54 okay how will i know that okay. 2.54 is a good number or up to the my expectations or not might be 2.54 okay. is not good my expectation or target is 5 million dollars Okay. 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 So this logic will okay. be given by the users that what kind of uh, targets they have. Okay. It might be. Okay. Million, it might be five million. It might be three million. So if I take the three million, then all are not doing good. Okay. But I will okay. say that it's going down. What I'll do if it is less than three million, let's say, uh, let's say it is two million. Uh, I'll make this as between the real and the same. So between So I have taken one like this 2.5 to 2.5. Okay, I'll create other rule. Yes. Let's do that one because two. So okay. shape and all that you can change whatever you want. Okay. okay. So like this. So here you see three different colors are coming. So 2.54 might not be good, okay. But still, let me say that it is going up near to my target of three million dollars, okay. 2.42 means like two to 2.5. It will be shown in green color. So this is a way like you can create multiple rules, multiple conditions, based on which you can show it to the users. Okay. So it's your ways, like whether you want to show numbers and icons together, or only numbers, or user wants to see both the things. Okay. Okay. By numbers, my user may not understand that what is this color, what is this, and all. So that's why it need to be required to show it to the users that what is the rule. That's why. I, but I have not given the names of the rules, but you have to give and show it okay. in the legends. So you have to show it in legends. Okay. 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 That we have to do. The next thing what I have here is properties is is my bullet graph. So bullet graph is nothing but like uh, sales and so this is my sales and this is my profit. Okay. So here you see. Uh, black bar what you are seeing this is your sales okay so 2.54 it's good sales 2.42 it's less than the earlier one 1.6 is like something less so this is your sales numbers okay but what you see this horizontal blue line this is your profits this is your profit so this is my total sales this is just a comparison that how uh, how much you have achieved how much you are able to achieve your target or something okay if you say that uh, you have to achieve like 20% of your sales as a profit so do you think like you are able to achieve in this okay i guess we are able to achieve this in uh, for central region let's suppose if i take the five like uh, divisions of this i'm i suppose that 20% of the sales uh, 20% of the profit i am able to achieve or total sales okay for okay. this i guess it's less this is quite less and this is also less so this is just a comparison okay. whether i am able to achieve my target or not so just to see the definitions again okay. bullet graphs again click on help so what is bullet graph 
So bullet graphs are used to compare one value represented by the horizontal bar to another value. So represented by a vertical line. Okay. okay. So this way you can just compare two values together. So this complete thing is called as graphical okay. table. So graphical table is a kind of table which helps us to see the data in the form of where we can add first of all trend lines, calculate values, icons, bullet graphs, okay, and which helps us to see more and more information in a single glance. That is the definition of graphical table. Okay. Okay. So you have seen three tables. One is normal table. Cross table, graphical cross table. table. We have one more table called summary table. We have one more table called summary table. So there are total four tables in Spotfire. Okay. Summary table is nothing okay. but it's a summary of your data. Nothing else. And first thing, you can only see numerical values here. You can't see string columns. There is no point of adding string columns here. Okay. So columns okay. here. Row ID, you don't want to see the sum of row ID, count of row ID, obviously. So you can remove it. Okay. Postal code. Postal code is your pin code. You don't need to see the sum of pin code, average of pin code. So this is unwanted information here. So these are all required okay. informations here. Okay? okay. Now, let me add the product name or region. And let's say you want to see, okay, I want to add the customer name. Just add the customer name. What you will get here? Okay. Nothing. Sum, there will be no sum of customer, there will be no average of customer, min and max you are getting because min is taking the A, max is taking Z or Z. Okay, okay. so it is alphabetically A comes as the minimum, means A comes first and Z comes later. So that's the reason max is Z, min is A, nothing else. So no information is shown from this value. So there is no point of taking string columns in your summary table. That's the okay. first thing. Summary table is nothing but it's a table which helps you see the data in the form of statistical measures. Statistical measures, this. Okay. So here your user will be able to see that what is the total sales. That will just bring, let's say, total sales, average sales, minimum sales, maximum sales, median sales, and a division. Then you can have all these things okay. according to your requirement. You can have all this stuff. So okay. your users can see multiple things. This is L95, lower 95 percentile, upper 95 percentile, quartile 1, quartile 3, lower adjustment value, upper adjustment value. So these are different statistical measures which your user wants to see. Okay. okay. So these are statistical okay. calculations which if you do it manually, it will take a lot of time. But using this option, you okay. can instantly get the results. Okay. So this is what... Okay helps you to understand the summary table so just click on help what is summary table so the summary table is a visualization that summarizes statistical information about data in table form that's all okay so the okay. all data will be shown in the summarized form using statistical measures how do you use summary table in all it is giving up here okay, okay. So this way, it is just summary table. So there are four tables, normal table, cross table, graphical table, graphical and table, so and table. So I'll wind up for today. Uh, you just go through all these okay. tables, four tables, very like uh, short, and just go through okay. all these like uh, properties. Make sure that okay. you understand all these it. properties. So I have not covered all these properties here because all those are same. Data, appearance, fonts, columns, columns you select here, okay. sorting, statistical measures, yeah. measures you want to see, legends and subsets. All these are same. Okay. Okay. So this way, like uh, these four properties are completed. Then we'll move ahead in the next session with charts. Charts means like line chart, bar chart, pie chart, like this. We have charts now. Okay. 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 So, okay. Uh, uh, I have one question. Hmm? Like, you know, do you, uh, I mean, like, you know, uh, uh, sometimes the requirement, like uh, the, uh, the end use, the user gives, like, you know, the business gives, is, it will be different, right? Like sometimes you may not have the options or all the options in the 
in the tool itself right spotify do you guys use any third party tools to achieve those requirements uh it's not third party Or tool do like we don't use third party but like sometimes what happens like uh, we we'll be using javascript at html to bring the extended visualizations extended features okay customizations okay, okay. so that thing is done by okay okay there are few things which you can't do okay. in spotify which can be done using javascript and all customizations and all that we do use okay, okay. So third party tool and uh, okay. actually there are few companies in this like uh, third party vendors or companies which create lot of visualization okay and okay. if you, okay. if your organization want to purchase them you can purchase Ex extra visualizations which are not there in spotify mm -hmm. from outside but that is not okay. from third okay. parties <laughs> okay okay because you know like the spotify is software this is created in dotnet okay this okay. is dotnet okay. okay okay yeah spotify provides you functionality to work and extend the spotify as a software also okay okay that is called as spotify sdk Okay. So if you are okay. if you are an expert in .NET, then what you can do to then you can open the code of Spotify and you can extend the functionalities. You can create new charts, new features, new plugins, and you can again embed them into your Spotify and it's like this. So right now you see this few of okay. the places you might see few extra visualizations because they have taken this yeah, yeah. from third party vendors. Okay. Okay. So they have purchased. It's like add-on. As I said, you you bought a car, let's say Honda City or something, then you add up yes. add-ons on top of that. You have like say reverse camera, you have a roof rails, you have something extra, had a bumper lights yeah, or yeah. something like. So this is all accessories what you're getting from other companies. Company is not providing you. Yeah. Tipco will provide you. Yeah, all upgrade. You. But you can get it from outside. Okay. Because other companies work on extension of the software. Because this is that's okay. why that's how they are running. Okay. 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 Adi. Okay. So see you tomorrow. See you then. Thank you. So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.